Hi everyone, it's Carrie with Elite Nails and welcome back to another video on my channel. I am super excited to share this video with you because it is a video on all of my favorites from January to August of 2017. Um, I did do a video, a favorites video um, in January and I just want you guys to know that these favorites that I'm going to feature in this video are not replacing any of my favorites that um, I had in my first favorites video. So these are products that I have reached for quite a bit in the last eight months and I'm pretty excited about it. There, I, I just I love finding new products that I fall in love with and on that note I am not going to do a whole bunch of rambling because I'm not too sure how long this video is going to be. So let's just flip the camera around and uh, let's get started. Let's start with some, just some little odds and ends that aren't really products, but just items that I use. And I've been on the hunt for these. These are little micro swabs and I got these off eBay. I really, really like these. They, um, I use them to put glue on when I'm applying crystals. So the tip is very tiny. Dip this in the glue, you put it on your nail, and then apply your crystals with whatever um, crystal applicator that you use. But I love these. These did take, I'm gonna say, a very long time to come in <laughs> off of eBay. I did get a couple um, containers, so I'm hoping that these will last. Um, so if you are looking for these, what did I do? I just sort of searched on eBay for um, micro swabs and these came up. So these are disposable micro applicators and very inexpensive and no shipping. This here is a pincher and I stuck a band-aid around and what I normally do is every time I use this on a new client or a client, I change the band-aid out. So this works amazing for pinching. I used this in a class, in Carmen Hayward's class back in March and I think I have two of them and I think I really want to invest in a few more but um, these I grab for anytime I want to do some pinching. These little sanding bands, these are medium grit zebra sanding bands and I got these at Nail Techniques. I love these. I've been reaching for these more than ever lately. I will go in with um, my Mean Green to get the bulk of the product off when a client comes back for a fill and then I will use these. Oh, if you put this on your e-file at a low speed you can get right up to the cuticle of these. I just restocked on them. These are, um, I don't know what do you call those, I got my cleanser in here and I got these from Nail Techniques. I know Canada Nail Supplies also carries these. Um, Nail Techniques had white, they had blue purple and pink I went I know I had gone in when I saw that nail techniques had these on their website and in stock I had gone in just to pick one up and they had two <laughs> so and that's it for the white like they didn't have any more so I thought well I'm gonna grab two because my whole color scheme is these colors but what I really like about these pump bottles is that when you tighten up the the lid. It tightens. It doesn't do, I don't even think I have one. You know how some bottles where you can turn and then it gets tight and then if you keep turning it loosens again and then you're tightening all over again? This does not do that. These, once it's the lid's on tight, it stays tight. This here, the lid that closes, it snaps. So it's sealed. And I find, like in this one here, I have my acetone. It doesn't evaporate. I was using, which I really like, but I was using this one. Well, silly me, it, it's not really meant for acetone. <laughs> and my, I filled it up and my acetone evaporated. So that was kind of a waste. So, so being in a, a seal, more of a sealed, pump bottle, I find that it doesn't evaporate. And the other thing that I like about this is that you turn it, just, you can hear, I don't know if you can hear, if I shut up, <laughs> you guys might be able to hear this. So there it's open and I can 
push it down and the liquid comes up. And then to lock it so the liquid doesn't seep out, just a little click to the left. I can put the cap on, click it, and I don't get any evaporation. This is, I find that even though these pump bottles are not that expensive, they're well made. I was really, really impressed. I like the little design. It kind of looks like a crown. So I have two of these. I wouldn't mind like having all my liquids in these bottles. And also this is bigger than the other pump bottle I was using. I was using one like this here. And I find I got more in here and I wasn't filling it up as fast. This is a favorite, love this. This is loose glitter from Nail Techniques and I find that I have been reaching for this particular color to do all of my sugaring. So it's got some purples and blues and greens and gold, silver, it's a white base and it's so fine and I find that it's perfect if you wanna do a full coverage sugar nail or if you're doing a design with um, paints and you just want to sprinkle this on top. I found that I have been reaching for this a lot and I really really like it. With the glitter bar at Nail Techniques once the glitter's gone that's it. They restock it with something else so I am not sure if they have this particular one in stock or not. Light Elegance has some fine sugars in their sugar kit and that is comparable to this. Next that I've been using and I really, really like is this here. And I got this from Impact Salon Sales. Everything that I mentioned here, I will put um, in the description box below. This is resin, I guess it's like glue and I use this to put on my crystals. So I'll dab a bit. What I do is I take the paper from a form and I squeeze a bit of the glue onto the paper. Then I take my micro swab, I will dab it into the glue, place the glue on my finger, put the crystal on, and then I will take this um, resin activator and spray it. When it dries, the crystals are on, and I find that they stay on really well. I have had crystals come off using this, but it was because I didn't put enough resin on. Now, and I'm not talking about like globbing on this glue. I had just put very, very little on because I wasn't too sure how much to use. I put a little bit more on now. I placed the crystal on and then set it with this resin activator. And my crystals do not go anywhere. I want to share with you this form here. It's from Exclusive Nail Couture by Max Estrada. Um, so it's enailcouture.ca, which is the Canadian website that I got this off of. Um, it was, I found that their prices were really reasonable. And I love these forms because they are great for the smaller nail bed. And I love, I'm just gonna zoom in a little. I love that it's already cut here and the little ears over here. And I mean, for using these on my nails, they are absolutely perfect. Um, I have a smaller nail bed, so I find that I'm able to customize this form to my nail a lot easier than a regular size form. And I have to do very little customization with it. So I'm actually gonna, I am gonna stock up on these at the CNTC too, but this is what I'll do. Is I'll take the little thing out, place it on the back because I find that extra support is perfect. And I will kind of bend the form with both sides and then kind of move like this so the sides are rounded and then this side. And then when I I'll cut that off too. And then when I place this on my uh, finger or my client's finger, it's already rounded. The curve, the C curve really stays. It doesn't, oh, I'm just gonna do this. When you have this on, I don't know, this is what I do. The shape stays, it doesn't move once you, I find that it doesn't move once I have it on my client's nails. So this is kind of what I wanted to show you. I know I've used these in videos before, but it just fits so nice. 
and these work really 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 well now these like I said these are I find that I cannot use these on my thumb my thumb is my nail bed on my thumb is too big for these without I mean if I cut it and customize it then I can yes but um, Max Estrada has come out with a wider form and I cannot wait to get my hands on those because I love these ones so much they work so well for me that um, I really want to try out their wider forms this here is unicorn chrome by e nail couture I found that this is both a chrome and a, a unicorn powder I guess that's why they, he couldn't he named it unicorn chrome and it, it doesn't look that appealing in the uh, jar and it doesn't look like there's a lot in here but a little goes a long ways what I'll do is um, I will insert a picture this gives a beautiful holographic look a chrome look all in one and you need very very little and I find that this chrome with Enel Couture shiny is a perfect combination I this is a no wipe top coat and I I am loving it I will be honest I am not a huge fan of no wipe top coats mainly because I prefer a harder finish on my nail something that's not going to scratch after a couple of days the no wipe top coats that I have tried I found um, some of my clients have come back in about a week and they're scratched and they're dulled and um, they work with files and papers you know their hands are constantly moving papers around and hands in boxes and the no wipe top coat just was not holding up well enough for them um, shine e is probably the hardest and most durable that I have tried and it's shiny and it's I, I am just I am really really impressed with with this I don't know what else to say it's everything that I would want in a no wipe top coat so I go back and forth from using shiny to using light elegance super shiny or fusions extreme shine those are my three go to top coats but if I'm wanting a no wipe this is what I have been reaching for and I find that it has held up with those ladies that are um, working in office it just it just holds up and it doesn't scratch as easily as the uh, as some of the others I have tried I am loving the this combination here and also when you order this uh, unicorn chrome you do get this cute little pink sponge applicator I wanted to share that with you I know I did um, post a picture on my Instagram when I first got this I fell in love with this top coat and the unicorn chrome right away when I fall in love with something right away then I know that it's a pretty awesome product okay something else I have been reaching for a lot is a clear jelly stamper stamping polish and I'm normally will grab for any color with this in this brand but this particular color it's number 034 and it is a pearlized white it's like an off white it is beautiful I find I reach for this if I'm wanting that white that that's not a stark white and something that's a little bit more subtle but yet you can definitely see this has been a favorite I use this a lot if this color came in a bigger bottle I know there's the white and the black that clear jelly stamper has made into um, bigger bottles if this putting it out there Debbie <laughs> I would definitely stock up on this color if it was a bigger bottle or even smaller bottles I would definitely stock up on this color I absolutely love this color and staying with clear jelly stamper I know I've mentioned the stamper itself before I reach for this all the time this is my stamper that I reach for no matter what stamping plate I'm using no matter what stamping polish I'm using this is the stamper I use I am finding that my images come out so much better I love the fact I mean look you can see my logo right through and this is the original stamper that um, came with this casing like I haven't replaced the jelly stamper yet so you're able to as a clear jelly stamper does you're able to position your the image exactly where you want it I love the fact that it's big I think this is called the big bling perfect name for it um, I definitely would love to get another one of these I'm just gonna zoom out a little another one of these because I've kind of taken the um, logo off actually I'm not too sure what happened to the logo but it's not on here anymore uh, I sticking with clear jelly stamper 
this plate right here, which is um, CJS02 clear jelly stamper, featured one of my um, pictures, I'll insert it here for you, on their website, and I was very honored that they did that. Totally unexpected, um, very humbled. The I used this plate, I used the scroll, and I believe I used um, this, these two images along with the, the leaves, 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 leaves. Oh my gosh, I need to go back to school. <laughs> so this is a favorite of mine. Another clear jelly stamper favorite is this stamping plate. And I'm just gonna turn it sideways. This is the CJS LC04. And it's the one with the fairies on here. There's some really beautiful butterfly images. You have a um, bigger image here and you have the exact same image right here. I'm hoping you can see that. Um, these swirl designs, I find um, my clients have actually gravitate, gravitated, <laughs> gravitated, <laughs> oh geez, gravitated towards these swirly designs and even this one right here. I'm just going to put this down. So this one they really, really like this one. It's such a pretty plate. I love this plate. The other clear jelly stamping plate that I have used quite a bit, and this is not gonna come to a surprise to some of you, is the mandala plate. This is the one, the bigger image. This is not a layering plate, but I love this. I believe I even have, which one? I have this one on my toes. It's beautiful. and. I used this color. This one here from Moira, this is the damask drapery. This plate has been used so much. I know you might not be able to tell because it's so clean. I will get to that and why later. But I find these two images right here, actually these three images right here get used a lot. I, I, I don't know why, I just love the design though on this plate. So that one I've used a lot. And also from Moira is the Lace Love. And this is their first Lace Love plate. They do have a Lace Love 2 and I think a Lace Love 3. I'm not positive on that one, but I know that they do have two. So these two plates I have used quite a bit. I didn't think that this next product was as good as I was told it was. <laughs> this Stamping plate cleaner from Can West. This product is absolutely amazing. I just got the small bottle, which this is 250 mils. This stuff is amazing. Um, I just, I spray it on I, on my plate after I've gotten the nail polish off. Oh, how about I just show you? I'm just to do a little demo here. So you know when you take and you clean your plate, and then the acetone dries and then you get that film. You can kind of see that film right in here. And then it's kind of dirty. Take this, I spray a little on. I take my paper towel and I rub until it's dry. It's kind of almost like polishing the plate up. and it is clean again, minus the spots that I missed. <laughs> but yeah, my plates stay so clean and I, I don't know, it's just me. I normally clean my plates before I put them away. After each service, I clean everything up and put it in its rightful place just so I don't have to do it later because I hate cleaning. I mean, who does like cleaning? But anyway, this is an amazing product and I know that they have a bigger bottle as well. I'm not too sure on the size, but you can go on CanWest website and check out the size and pricing for that. So I would recommend this. I love this. I didn't know I would like it as much as I do. So um, thanks, Rob. You were right. <laughs> Okay, I've shared cuticle oils with you before, and I just wanted to let you know that Light Elegance cuticle oil, I find that I'm reaching for this more and more every service. I don't know why. I don't know if it's just because it's placed in front. It smells amazing. All of my cuticle oils do, and I just find that I'm reaching for this more. It's just the right amount of moisture. If you put too much on, of course, it's going to oversaturate the cuticles, which I don't know. I just... Like you need very little, that's probably too much. It's just the fragrance is beautiful. It's a spa-like 
fragrance. I, like I said, I don't know why I'm reaching for this more lately, but I am. I love it. So it has become a favorite of mine and I wanted to share that with you. Um, sticking with Light Elegance, something else I've been grabbing a lot is um, the super shiny top coat. I, I don't know why. I actually prefer top coats that come in a pot. Extreme Shine will always be my number one favorite. And this, if I'm wanting to reach for a, a top coat that has a tacky layer in a bottle, I will reach for this. But I, I find I've been reaching for this a lot and the shine, it lasts. You have to remember that after it comes out of the lamp, you don't want to wipe the tacky layer off right away. You do want to wait about 30 seconds before you take the dispersion layer off. And it is so shiny. It lasts, durable, doesn't scratch. It's a, an amazing product. I had just purchased this. I love the um, Light Elegance fiber, like the regular clear fiber. So I thought I would try the natural fiber for extending the nails out to get that. And I actually have it on this finger here. So you can see underneath, it looks like a, a natural colored nail underneath. It's such a beautiful natural look. And it's easy to work with when you're extending the nail out. Um, I have seen quite a few videos that Selena Ryden has done and she uses this to extend her nails out. I mean, the product stays in, in place. Like, it is not super, super thick. It does self-level a little bit, but it, you do have time to um, manipulate the gel and, and do a couple of nails before curing. I'm finding that I am really loving the natural fiber. I have some favorite colors. And since we are talking about light elegance, Big Diamond has been a favorite. My, I have some clients that have been gravitating towards this glitter gel. And I mean, look how beautiful this is. This is not a brand new glitter gel, but this is a staple in my collection. I use this more than diamond, probably because it's got the bigger flecks of silver glitter in here. A white base, some smaller flecks of glitter. This is just beautiful. The other glitter gel that has become a huge favorite of mine is Sophia, and I'm actually wearing this on my nails. I have doll face on underneath. I mean, just look at that. I know I just did a review video on this is the, from their old Hollywood fall collection that just came out but this is my clients have been asking have this put on their nails and it is just a beautiful champagne color with a pop of green and blue and purple glitter flecks in here it is just such a stunning glitter gel another favorite of mine is Puddle Play from Light Elegance. And this color came out in their spring collection. And if you saw my review on the spring collection, I told you I was unsure of this color. I love this color. This color I have reached for quite a bit. And it is a beautiful light purple with a gray undertone that needs a stir. <laughs> and it's actually quite pigmented. Another color that has been a favorite and a hit is Silver Screen Beauty, which is what I'm wearing right now. With my set of nails that I have on now, I have actually gotten so many compliments. I don't know if it's the color, the fact that there's, you know, people are ready for fall colors or what, but I mean, there's nothing spectacular about this set of nails. It's just the color combination. I love it. Even if I did do these on myself. This has been a favorite with my clients as well. Another light elegance color and in the same family is the buttercream Your Churn. And this is a bit more pinkier, but this also has been a favorite. So I'm actually just going to show you all three of them together. I've been reaching for these quite a bit, even though the puddle play we've had for since spring and then these two colors are newer, but I'm surprised uh, my clients have just been going, yes, I want this color, I want this color. Another favorite of mine is Tequila by the Pool by Fusion. And this is a beautiful, it's actually showing up a little bit darker in the camera. This I have used for um, doing a colored French. I've done a uh, French fade. I've done a full colored nail. This has been a very popular color. I love this. this and my all time number one absolute favorite color is Picking Berries by Fusion. And this is in their new formula, their LED UV formula and it's this is this beautiful fuchsia pink that has a bit of a not a shimmer it's more like a I've done a review on this it's so pretty you've got more of a darker magenta pink you've got a lighter fuchsia 
depending on how the light shines on it. This is just a very, very stunning color. This is my favorite color. I just absolutely love it. And I'll also insert a picture of a set of nails that I really liked. This from Magic Gel. This surprised me. And this is Universal White. I found it so easy to use to do swirls on a nail and to do some sugaring. And the, the viscosity is amazing. Um, one coat coverage, I believe. Yeah, that's what that symbol means right there. This is just so, so amazing. I, you would only need very little on your brush. It just kind of goes where you want it to go. I mean, nothing special about <laughs> what I just did, but just how easy it was to apply if you were doing some kind of design on your nails. Um, I was really impressed with this gel. So that has become a favorite of mine. Another favorite that totally surprised me is Magic Gel's Diamond Fiber. You know what I love about this builder gel? Like when I'm tipping the jar to the side, it looks thick. You stick your brush in there and it's like warm butter. The viscosity is, is exactly what I've been looking for. It's not too runny, it's not too thick. It stays put, it is so super strong. And the strength of this gel just blew me away. And I am really loving this. Um, I haven't tried out a whole lot of their colors yet, but when I do, um, I will be sure to show those to you. So let's go on to some more colors. Okay, this color from Vetro, number 188, Smoke Terracotta, and it's a two star. This has been so popular. This I absolutely love. It is a nude, a pink nude, taupey pink nude. The viscosity is amazing. The application was so so easy. I, I, I fell in love with this color. I fell in love with the viscosity. I fell in love with everything about this gel right here. So this is definitely a favorite of mine. Another favorite from Vetro is number 324 and this is Cave Diving. A beautiful blue gray, perfect for fall. I absolutely love this color. So that's also a favorite of mine. And this is going to come to no surprise, but I have three leaf gels from Vetro that I have been a favorite of mine. And one is Lollipop Leaf, and I paired this up with Smoked Terracotta, and I was amazed with it, how well it paired up. I'll also insert a picture. This is a leaf gel. Um, the application was so, so easy. Pink with some silver. This is definitely a favorite of mine. Silver Leaf, number 271 from Vetro. This leaf gel is amazing to work with like that is just so pretty and you can put this on top of a finished filed nail and put a top gloss on top and you don't have to embed it i just like it's smooth there was no um texture to the leaf gel by putting it on top of a finished filed nail so i was really impressed with that i did use this with the smoked terracotta so i used these three together and one last color gel or leaf gel rather is a sunrise leaf this is beautiful <laughs> it is like a, it's a lighter gold it's like a like the sunrise champagne that's the color this kind of compared to um, light elegance is Sophia so pretty so easy to work with and again you can embed this or put it on top of a finished filed nail and you don't get the texture it's smooth it is beautiful just absolutely beautiful um, just a couple of more things I kind of forgot to mention it when I was doing um, this stamping plates whoa look at that color <laughs> this is just a stamping book from clear jelly stamper and this is for the smaller ones I've even got some random born pretty stamping plates in here but I really like this 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 is actually made so well I'm impressed the quality of this book, I, I just didn't expect it. I, I love the color, it's kind of blinding, so sorry about that, but it's just, I, I love the different colors you get on here, um, their logo. This is just such a very stunning little stamping plate book. And their bigger one. I wonder if I can get it all, oh, there we go. <laughs> 
this one here, this book. I actually went out and bought another one because I like it so much. I mean, this I haven't even filled this one up yet, and I have another one. And this also is very well made. Like, it's beautiful, and it wasn't that expensive, and I love the fact that I can, I'm just gonna say, I can spend the right amount of money on a product and have it be of good quality. I, I love Debbie's products, so. This has been a favorite book of mine and I wanted to share that with you as well. So there are my favorites for 2017 so far. I know that might not seem like a whole lot, but they're just some of the colors and products that I wanted to feature that I kind of just wanted to make special in this video. Just share with you guys. I guess some random different brands, products that I've been reaching for, products that I've been enjoying using. So I wanted to share that with you. And there you have it. So I hope you enjoyed this video and until the next video, we will see you guys again soon. Bye guys.